Managing channels and supply chains is another P that uh, is in the four P's, and this is place. In, the, in plain English, channels and supply chains and place have to do with the process of getting product available and in the hands of the market. So availability is really the key, the key thing, when they want it, where they want it, and in the form that they want it, meaning packaged size-wise and you know, kind of the practical nuts and bolts things. Just like the other P's, product, price, place, promotion, or product, pr product, price, and promotion, place decisions have to be integrated and complement and reinforce the positioning, the branding, and the, the target market that we're going after. Okay, so make sure you do read the uh, examples uh, given here. But here's a, here is a uh, nice graph of some activities that are done in the supply chain or intermediaries and what they do. You've heard of these, I'm sure, middlemen, retailers, distributors, and so on. They stand between the producer of the product, physical product usually in this case, and the final consumer or the target market. Could be services as well, but those aren't, they can't be stored, so that's a little a little less of an issue. So functions performed by intermediaries, uh, all of these and more, they are the ones that add value. If they don't add value to the movement of the product along that supply chain, then they shouldn't be in the supply chain. They should be replaced and someone else takes over that duty. Now the duties don't go away, but they will have to be taken up by someone else. If you're not adding value, we need to find someone that can or will. So transaction functions, logistical, moving stuff from point A to point B, uh, facilitation, trade-ins, warranty work. Uh, if you sit and think about it, and as you read the chapter, it should come be become pretty clear to you. Direct channels are just that. They go from the producer right to the target market. Indirect channels are most channels. Easiest direct channel to think about would be, or used to be Dell, which would sell direct and only direct to the market, direct marketers. Very old thing. So Schwann's, or Schwann Foods, that's a direct market. You see the trucks driving around, things like that, and other examples. The various levels and intermediaries, uh, the number of steps corresponds to decisions that are uh, made and or industry norms that are hard to get around. So the agencies need to buy it. And I'm not sure what Mansar is, but uh, you can look it up. Oopsie, sorry. So direct channels, indirect channels are most channels. Like I said, here's B2B on the business product side, just as an example. Electronic markets are direct marketing channels as well. Electronic markets and catalogs are, you know, one's kind of the grandfather of the other. Um, it's just different conduits or paths or availability. Could be vending machines to get to the target market and make the product available. There's the Dell. Dell. Dell is now sold in stores, too. That's why I wouldn't call them necessarily a strict direct marketer. So dual distribution, strategic channel alliances, meaning we're going to partner with people to help us where we can add value. Again, we're, we, everything we do is looking for a competitive advantage. So vertical marketing systems where... Um, we own the steps or the pathway that it's taken. Manufacturer sponsored retailing. Manufacturer, you see where they're involved all along the way. Sometimes called vertical integration, but this is vertical marketing more specifically. So corporate systems, contractual, they may be uh, franchises, those types of things. Like I said, go to franchise.com if you want to know more about that. There's there are opportunities there if you have enough cash to invest to get it going. These are different levels of market coverage. Now, intensive distribution just means it's everywhere and anywhere, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Anytime you want a Pepsi, you can find it because they're in vending machines. They're everywhere. Uh, if you're outside and you drive by a gas station in the middle of the night and you want a Pepsi, you can get one. Exclusive dis distribution is very limited in order to again, help the positioning strategy of that exclusive product like Gucci. And then selective is where most products are, 
where it's not everywhere, but it's where it makes sense in regard to the target market. They provide information, channels do, um, satisfy service. You can go online and see how Apple does it. They do a, a really good job of uh, supply chain management, as does Walmart. Walmart lives and dies by supply chain management. Again, marketing dashboards to see how uh, to gauge your, the healthy organization, what's going on. Conflicts and channels almost always revolve around Monday, money and who's making it channel members. They're, it's always a fight about margins. Disintermediation means we take people out of the supply chain that we don't need, like I said before, and uh, so we reduce the number of steps between producer and target market. Channel captains are those with the most power. They have influence. Who's ever got the most money? Essentially, the biggest company. There are legal considerations. That these are contractual oftentimes, so those need to be respected. Certain laws respect this. as, And most of these are in regard to restraint of uh, competition. This is where these acts um, are what they are attempt to address. We want, that's one of, the, one of the few actual jobs that government's supposed to do, other than what they do do, is to enhance competition. Logistics, moving stuff from point A to point B, There's you can get whole degrees and there are tons of jobs in logistics management. There you go. On the supply chain side, steel, raw materials, and it is—it's a, a, you know, if you're interested in industry, that is a fascinating thing. Okay, I believe. Well, let's see here. I might have a couple more to go. No, I think that's—I think that's all of them. Yep. Okay, very good. Enjoy this chapter. Read it carefully, and best of luck.